everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Lauren. In today's video, we have a very unexpected handbag unboxing. And I say unexpected because last month in January, I bought the by far baby Kush bag. And I just wasn't planning on getting a new handbag for a few months. Um, I did a handbag collection. I have enough handbags. I don't need a new one, but here we are and this is also not on my wish list i don't know why i make a wish list when i don't even follow it so anyway let's get into it all i've done is i've opened this box here because i just don't like the noise of like trying to rip that open so um this is it <laughs> i bought this from essence and um it took just a couple of days to ship to me i am really excited to see what's in here because there are no reviews on this handbag online. I looked. So before I buy any sort of bag or luxury good in general, I like to research it. I am a researcher um, and there was nothing on this. So there was one that was, I think like a ASMR sort of what's in my bag, that kind of a thing, but it didn't actually review the handbag and it wasn't the same size. So I am so excited. To see this but I'm also scared because a lot of my unboxings can go wrong so please unboxing gods be with me today um let's open this up mm. this shipped to me in um two days I think I am an essence access member like essence plus I think that's what it's called it's part of the rewards program so I am a level three which means I do get priority shipping which means that items should come to me in one to two days which it did so I ordered this on Tuesday it got to me on Thursday so um here it is is there any thing oh it just has like the essence skew but I will leave everything down below I am so excited I am whoo and I'll explain why I wanted to get this handbag to begin with because I have not seen this in person. And like I said, there's no reviews online. And it's by a handbag brand that I don't own anything from. So it is by Jill Sander, which I feel like is really big in a lot of like Asian countries, especially in Japan. I feel like Jill Sander is really big, but I feel like here in Vancouver, my one of my really good friends, she got a Jill Sander bag last year for her birthday but she's the only one that i know that owns anything by the brand so here we go oh my gosh um this is the dust bag here and then this is just i don't know what this is jill sander oh this is different it says the authenticity of this bag has been certified using the aura blockchain technology that's crazy an embedded radio frequency identification, so RFID, and the near field communication NFC tag, blah, blah, blah. Simply tap the Jill Sander logo inside the product with your smartphone to check that it's a genuine product. I'm really excited because I have never had a handbag that uses this new technology for authenticity. Um, let me know if your handbags come with this now. I feel like this is a good way to go. Um, it's going to be harder for all those counterfeit brands, I think, to pull this off. But um, yeah, we will check together whether this is authentic. But uh, the rest of the stuff here is Jill Sander. Is like, okay, so this is just saying it's calf leather with artisanal craftsmanship, blah, blah, blah. It's just the care guide. Talks about the leather and how to protect it and things like that. So that is the first part here. And let's open this up. I am so excited. Okay, so it's just wrapped up. Let's open this up together. Sorry if it's gonna be noisy, okay. And it is wrapped more, oh my gosh! Look at the color of this. This, oh. Okay, let me just fully unwrap this. But um, now I'm beginning to like, because <sighs> I get really excited. Um, this is the canolo bag, which, is a play on cannoli, um, the Italian dessert. And this is the mini size because you know how I am with mini bags. Okay, so this is the part I was most concerned about because of the strap drop. I just attached the strap so it wouldn't be flopping around as I show you and I put it on the longest setting. And this is what I was actually most concerned about. So 
Uh, this is the mini size, like I mentioned. It comes in the small, which is the one that I saw on YouTube. And then uh, it comes in a medium, I believe. It might be a medium or a large, but the small size has a longer strap, um, whereas this one has a shorter strap. So I wasn't sure. And now we're gonna see together. Oh yes. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. I was worried I wouldn't be able to wear it uh, crossbody. So a lot of the um, models I see online wear it either crossbody or they wear it as a shoulder strap or something like that. Um, and it's a little bit longer, like I said, with the small, whereas this is the mini size. But look at her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I should look it over. Let me take a minute and look this over because before I rave about it, let me see if there's anything wrong with it. Everything looks amazing. I am so happy. I love this little bag. So let me explain it a bit more, but I'm just excited and I need to calm down. But as I mentioned, this is the mini Canolo. You can see the strap here. So there's lots of different ways to wear this, which is why I bought it. But you can see it has a ton. Let me get this noisy paper out of the way. It has a ton of notches. So you can wear it on your shoulder so it hangs down, like it goes up higher like that. Or you can wear it crossbody, kind of like this, like a sling bag, how I'm wearing it. Or, and they didn't show this on the model, but I think I could put this as a waist bag, right? Because it definitely has enough room, and I think this would just make the cutest little waist bag. I'm so excited. The color of this, it comes in multiple colors, but this color is the one that I really wanted. And this is in the color Dusty Blue, which is this beautiful kind of cool toned gray blue color. Um, I just love it. I had seen a Dior, I don't know if it was called Cloud Blue or something, but it was in this kind of similar blue and it was really gorgeous. And I don't have anything in this kind of gray blue. So I just thought with all my neutral wardrobe, this would go over really well. Like I mentioned before that it has all of these different notches so you can adjust it, which is nice. And then the handbag itself, it's pretty minimal. That's the side view there. It does look like a little cannoli. Um, it is the calf skin, which you can see is nice and smooth and beautiful. There's no scratches or anything like that. It comes with a silver hardware, which I love, especially with a cool tone handbag like this. I just feel like gold would not work well. Some of the other colors do come with uh, the gold hardware. Uh, the black in particular looks really beautiful with the gold. And then down here, it just says Jill Sander and it is um, debossed and it is in silver. And then here we have, uh, well, I didn't show you the bottom. The bottom is plain, there's just the seam. And then we open it up and that is the inside there. I already took out the little filling because I scanned the handbag and it did come up. So all I had to do was hold my phone where it said Jill Sander and then it says, okay, you're not gonna be able to see this. I'll just include a little um, screenshot of what it says, but it just authenticated the handbag, which is so awesome. I love that. And then the inside is bare bones. It is just black calfskin on the inside there. And then it just has the magnetic closure right there. So this is just it's so, it's so beautiful. I am in love with it. Let me see if it fits my phone because, well, it had to have because I put my phone in there to scan it. So like I said, this is the mini side size. I will leave the dimensions down below, but there we go. Phone is inside. Perfect. And I still have room to put my wallet, my car keys, lip gloss, all my essentials. I was looking at the small size initially and it was just a little bit too big. When you wear it um, kind of like as a crossbody, like how I would wear it, it was just, it's maybe like that much bigger. So it is significantly bigger for the small size and it just looks a little bit awkward kind of crossbody. Um, so I then started searching other sizes and I saw the mini and I saw it in this color. And then I added it to bag immediately. And then I thought, no, you know what? I just bought a handbag and it's also blue. Let me sit on it. And I sat on it for probably about four days. And then I just, 
I kept thinking about it and that's how I know when I really want something when I constantly think about it and every single day I would go back and I would look at it and I would search up reviews and there was nothing there's only this site which is in Japanese oh my phone is in the bag I'm looking for it I will insert it here where real people upload pictures of themselves wearing handbags so they put their height and like their stats and everything which I think is amazing it's so cool um, and there were so many people wearing this handbag and like I said it was in Japan um, but it was in the large size or no the small size so none of them had the mini so that's why this was like a little bit of a gamble to get but I'm so happy because she is adorable oh love it I love it if you have access to the private sale on essence which I believe after your first purchase you are a level one um, I have to double check that actually it might be your first $1,000 then you're a level one and then I believe you have access to the private sale but right now there's only four remaining I'm just on the website right now if this is regular 620 Canadian I actually meant 1620 Canadian which is pretty expensive but it's again it's an all leather handbag for the mini size and it is 48% off right now with the private sale so it is $842 Canadian and and I had 10% off because back in December one of my shipments i can't remember which one it was because i bought so much from essence during the um winter season one of my packages took a little bit longer to get to me so they had offered me a 10 percent off coupon in total including taxes and everything for this i paid 847 dollars canadian I couldn't pass it up. I had already been stalking this handbag for like four days, constantly looking at it. And like I said, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, and then with the additional, I knew I would get the 10% off. I just, I, I had to get it. And I am not disappointed at all. I am so happy. Um, let me know your thoughts on this. If you would like me to do an in-depth review after I've had it for a few days, um, or not a few days after I've had it for a while, please let me know. Um, I will include the link down below. I will also include the link for, there's a cream, which I was going in between, um, as well as the black, and I'll also list some other sizes. So uh, that way, if you have access to the private site, you can definitely save some extra money on this. But I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Please let me know what you think about my new handbag, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.